Welcome to a Stamping to Share video. My name is Kay Kaltoff and today we're going to do a cute little card that uses the cups and kettles die cuts for our main image. And then also we're just embellishing one of those die cuts with a stamp from Have a Cup of Stamp Set. So you can get the stamp set and the cute little dies that go with it as a bundle in the 2016 Occasions Catalog. And I love it. They're so cute. And so you can make some really darling cards. This card is pretty quick to make, so it's not going to take too long. It's got um, this product suite includes 6x6 six six designer series paper. Comes in a pack of 48. And there's just, on one side it kind of has the look for, of teacups and little tea bags. And then on the other side there's more of a generic look. So like one side will be kind of tea related and then the other side will be more generic. So it's a very versatile, it's a very versatile set of paper, which which I like that when they do that because sometimes, you know, if you have real seasonal paper, then um, then you wonder what to do with it after the season's over. So what we're going to start with is a piece of cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I'm using Rich Razzleberry. This is going to be more of a tent card. We're gonna fold it in half and it's actually gonna stand up like this. Typically I do long cards for, for a, a landscape scene on my card, but I had a lot of extra of this cut, so I thought I would go ahead and use this. We're going to need some Whisper White paper. This is four by five and one quarter. And on the other side, I've already gone ahead and I've put just a little bitty, bitty strip of Bermuda Bay paper from the Have a Cup of Six by Six paper pack. This is a half inch strip by five and one fourth inches long. And we're just going to use a little bit of snail on the back and secure this right onto the inside panel of our card. And so we have the inside panel complete. The next layer will be from that six by six paper pack. And I've just taken one of the papers and cut it down to four by five and one fourth. Now really you could use either side. It just kind of depends what you're going for. I'm going to go with the purple side on top with all the little cups. And so again, we can go ahead and glue that right onto our paper. I'm actually using some multi-purpose liquid glue. And we can go ahead and just set that right on the front panel of our card. We don't have any ribbon wraps or anything like that. So we can just glue this panel straight down right onto the front of our card. The next panel is going to be some chocolate chip paper. This is three and one eighth by four and three eighths. It's cut just one eighth inch bigger than the next panel. So we're just going to again, take a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue and we're going to center this right into the center of the front panel of our card, right over the top of that designer series paper. The next panel is going to be in soft sky and I have this cut at four by three and three fourths. And we're going to go ahead and run this through the Big Shot machine with the embossing folder called Decorative Dots. And it looks like this. And you can see I've already done that. You just run it right through that embossing machine. And we're going to, again, just glue this straight on down onto our card with a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. Center this in to that chocolate chip panel. There'll be about a 1 8 inch border all the way around. And our next little strip of paper is three fourths inches by four inches. And this again is from the Have a Cup of Paper Pack. And I'm just going to again use a little bit of glue on the back here. And we're gonna set this right here on the bottom of this soft sky panel. Kind of wiggle it into place so it's nice and even on those three sides. And now we're ready to go ahead and get our little teacup and our teapot and a little bit of the steam that's going to rise from the teacup. So what I did is I took a piece of scrap paper from the Melon Mambo paper pack and I just set this on top and I ran it through the Big Shot machine and it should already be cut for you. Here's the little, here's the little kettle and it's so cute and it actually will cut two pieces with one swish through so you can see that that looks like this. Very cute, you have your lid, so the lid is actually detached, or you can use leave the lid on. That's nice for if you want to have a couple of tea bags hanging out, you can 
put the little strings through so it looks like the the lid is over the top and the strings are coming out with the cute little tea packet. See, there's little little tea packets that you can use. And then we have the cup. The little cup looks like this. And then we have the steam from the cup, which is kind of heart-shaped. I really like it. It's so super cute. So we just have to pull that out of here. And then we're ready to go ahead and set these onto our cards. So we're going to use some dimensionals and some multi-purpose liquid glue to adhere this to our card panel. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my cup on and I'm going to keep that cup right on top of the cardstock so I can put this on with a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue. Just gonna set it right here and then of course we want the steam coming out of the cup so I'm going to just take multi-purpose liquid glue and just add a little tiny bit of liquid glue to the back and then we can set that right on our project. And that's gonna go right here. And now to do our little kettle, we're going to do some stamping on him first. So I have a nice cup of stamp set right here and we're going to use this URT Rific. I've already put it on a block B and we're going to use early espresso ink. So I've got that right here just going to ink this up and then we're just going to set this right in the center of our teapot give it a little press and it looks great then we'll add some dimensionals and I like to go ahead and just put my little teapot cover right here in the back ready to go so that I can put it on with a dimensional I'm just going to hold that down and now you can see that with this dimensional I've just attached the tea cover and then we'll add two more dimensionals so that our teapot is nicely balanced. Take off the peelies and we can set that right onto our card and we're going to have it look like it's pouring so we'll just go like this and our card is complete and here's the finished product and here is the card that I started with. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I appreciate you so much that you've stopped by. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or sign up for my customer newsletter over at my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.